we're back okay so today we have a uh, read aloud that i'm sure most of you guys have already heard of or maybe listened to it's called the three little pigs and you'll see that um these little pigs have little brown noses that's something that we haven't seen yet we have a three little pigs book inside our library at school but it look the characters look a little bit different that's what i wanted you to notice so we have really been working on comparing and contrasting. We are finding the things that are the same and the things that are different between some characters in the story. We've really been working on the plot. We talked about the beginning, the middle, and the end. We also talked about the problem and the resolution, what needs to be fixed and how it gets fixed. And then we always talk about the characters, the setting. The characters are the people or the animals in the book that are doing something, right? And then the setting is where it takes place, where and when, where are they at and when is it happening? And um, before we go ahead and talk about those, um, I want to say objectives, but no, before we go through and talk about the comparing and contrasting of the characters, the wolf and maybe one of the pigs, I want to talk to you guys about um, part, the parts of the book. So we know that this here is called the what? The front cover right and then the back side is called the back cover nice this tiny little part that holds all of the pages inside the book is called the spine and then these large letters that are across the top are normally your title and the tiny words on the bottom are usually your author and your illustrator remember that the author is the one who writes the book remember you should be writing some letters pretending you're writing a sentence the author is the one who writes a book and the illustrator is the one who draws the picture you should be drawing some fancy pictures so the illustrator is the one who writes the book the illust did i just say illustrator no let's go back the author is the one who writes the book and the illustrator is the one who draws the pictures so let's take a look and see um who that is in this story Right here on the bottom, it says, illustrated by May Matsuko Suoka. Um, but it doesn't say who it's by. It doesn't say who the words are by. I wonder why. This is something new. Do you guys know? No, we've never come by this. So the reason that this is, is because this is a story that um, was made a long, long time ago. And there is a lot of people who have remade the book and made it their own, maybe changed a couple things and made the characters look a little bit different. And that is what Miss May did. She went ahead and she made the characters look a little bit different. And we'll see if maybe this, the story is the same as the one that we have in our library. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside the story. So here we go. The Three Little Pigs. There they are. It says, once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a cozy cottage on the hill. They loved to eat all the delicious food that their mother made them every day. They ate so much that it wasn't long before the three little pigs had grown so big that there was no room for them in the cozy cottage anymore. I'm sorry, said their mother. One morning, but it's time for you. It's time you made your own way in the world. Hmm. Is that what your mom does to you after you grow big and tall? She says, it's time for you to go find your own house. <laughs> I don't think so, right? So the three little pigs are going to go find their own house. So let's take a look at what happens. It says, so the next day, the three little pigs left home. Don't forget to watch out for the big bad wolf, called their mother as she waved goodbye. He'll eat you up for supper, so you'll need to build a big, fine, strong house as quickly as you can to keep him away. Don't worry, Ma, they oinked. We can look after ourselves. And the three little pigs trotted off down the hill, each taking a different path. What in the world does the word path mean? That word right there means path. That means like their own their own way, right? They're finding their own way. They're all, not all going down the same part. You see that one of the pigs goes this way. 
one goes this way and the other one's going to turn this way. So they're all going their own way, their own separate way. It says, in no time at all, the house of straw was finished and the little pig went inside for a nap. He had just shut his eyes when there was a knock at the door. Uh-oh, who could it be? It's a cute little pig, right? What's straw? Straw is like um, something that you can find in a field or in the grass, right? So he makes his house of straw. Look at that house of straw. Does that look sturdy? Like it's going to keep that big bad wolf out? Hmm, let's find out. It was the big bad wolf and he was hungry. Little pig, little pig, let me in, growled the wolf. No, cried the little pig, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, laughed the wolf. And that's just what he did. Huff, puff, whoosh. Oh man, what happened to his house? Meanwhile, the second little pig was walking along the road when he saw a woodcutter piling up some sticks. Please, may I buy some sticks, he asked politely. I want to build a house. Of course, answered the woodcutter, but a house made of sticks will soon fall down. Hmm, I wonder if building out of sticks is a good idea. But the second little pig wasn't listening. He was much too busy planning his new stick home. So he's stacking all those sticks up to make a house. Soon, the house was finished. The little pig had just sat down to rest when there was a knock at the door. It was the big bad wolf. He was even hungrier now. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he growled. No way, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And that's exactly what he did. Huff, puff, whoosh. Uh oh, look at his house. And then the pig runs off. Meanwhile, the third little pig had met a builder. Please, may I buy some of your bricks to build my house, he asked. Of course, replied the builder. A fine, strong house of bricks will last forever. The third little pig took the builder's advice. He would build the strongest house in the land. Finally, after a hard day of work, the house was finished. It had four strong walls of brick, a tiled roof, a sturdy wooden door, and a large fireplace with a chimney. What do you guys think of his house? It looks pretty good to me, right? The third little pig had just put a pot of turnips on the fire to boil when he saw his brothers running down the road, closely followed by the big bad wolf. Quick, cried the, thir the third little pig, hide in there. So they're running to their brother's house. They're gonna go hide inside his nice brick house. The wolf, who was, a who was very hungry by now, banged on the sturdy front door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, he growled, his tumbling running, rumbling very loudly with hunger. No way, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins, cried the three little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, laughed the, the wolf. You can see the wolf, he's looking inside their little peephole to put mail. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the brick house stood firm. 
The wolf was furious. He climbed up onto the roof and shouted down the chimney. If I can't blow your house down, I'll come down the chimney and gobble you all up. <gasps> so there, he's not going to get down and blow the house down. He's not going to go through the front door. But he's saying, I'm going to go through the chimney and I'm going to still eat you guys up. I'm hungry. Uh-oh, look at that wolf. He's getting in the chimney. The big bad wolf jumped and landed with a huge splash. And the pot of turnips boiling on the fire below. Eow! He yelled. He leaped up with a scream and ran out of the house, never to be seen again. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after in the house made of brick. The end. What a cute story.